Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back. My name is Alexis and for today's video, I was going to do a get to know me video. And these are just a series of questions that um, you guys asked me either on my social media, which will be posted below, or just some, I mixed them with some random questions um, from online. So, to get started, my name is Alexis, um, Alexis W, and I am 20 years old. I turned 21 on Saturday, June 23rd, and um, I go to Eastern Michigan University, and yeah, so those are some basic little things, and here are some questions. So, <clears throat> first question, what made you start your YouTube? Well, what really made me start my YouTube is wanting to do something that I enjoy doing, but I also like wanted to share with the world. Like, I don't, I work a lot and I do a lot of things for other people, but I wanted to dedicate this to myself. And I know this is something that I want to do. And I just wanted to share my passion with you guys. And I, yeah, that's really about it. And I'm just. I really just wanted to do something for myself and I know that I am um, going to be uploading my videos like weekly so that's putting in, that's forcing me to put in the time to actually record my videos, edit them and post them like doing something out the week for me because I most of my time right now summertime I'm spending working or folks are moving it's a lot of other stuff I'm doing right now but I want to do something to actually clear my head and keep it keep me sane okay the luckiest thing that happened to me <coughs> excuse me is the next question the luckiest thing that's happened to me is having God in my life like God is so good y'all like if you don't believe in God I'm sorry but God is good I love God and he always is there for me he always come through for me like I talk to him like all the time and I'm just very lucky to have him like in my life and what does your perfect room look like is the next question my perfect room would be a big like a huge room with pink everything and I have to have I want to record like a station where I record and then I want like a station um like for my beauty section like so it has to be like really huge because I want like a big vanity I want pink covers pink everything like yeah so my um I am moving soon in August and I am going to be redecorating and of course I'm moving so I'm getting like all new stuff and I'm gonna show you guys it's gonna be really cute it's gonna be close to my journal but not not, not that close the next question is do you want children if so, how many? Okay. You know, one children. Yes, I eventually want children. Um, I'm kind of scared to give birth, though, so I don't know. Like, I don't know. Um, I want about three because I have um, two sisters, and we're, like, very close in age, and we're, like, really close, and I want my kids to have someone like that close to them, you know. And if you can pass one trait to your child, what would it be? Um, it would have to be my independence. Like, I'm very independent. I do everything um, for myself. I do, like, yeah, I work hard. I work for everything that I have. Um, I pay my own bills. Like, I don't have to depend on anybody for anything. And that's what I want to teach my kids to be, just to be independent. Like, hopefully they will. Hopefully they just gonna be naturally independent, but you know if not, I that will be something I will teach them because you can't depend on nobody. It's people that that's what that's what they wait that that's what people prey on. Like they literally do stuff for you just so they can throw it in your face and say they did something for you, and that's not cool. Like I'm not not for that at all. Okay, my go-to movie or show. My go-to show is absolutely Grey's Anatomy. I love Grey's Anatomy. I started it like. I believe the beginning of the year, um, I believe I'm on like season seven, so I got a long way to go, but it's really good, y'all, if you haven't been my feelings on, but, so I, I, you know, I took a break from it for a minute, like, because I would like literally cry, like, 
the story is so beautiful. Like, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. <laughs> it's sad because it's a show, but yeah, that's my go-to show. Um, how would your perfect partner treat you? If I had to have a perfect man, I want somebody who's, I would like somebody who's, um, who treat me like a, a queen. I'm a princess now until I have my little baby, but who treat me like a queen and who balances me because I have some internal issues, y'all. Like, I'm a little, I am very, uh, what's the word? Mm. I'm not sure what's the word. I'm very strong-minded. I am very, uh, like I said, I'm very independent. And I'm just very, um, it's hard for me to, like, compromise with a lot of things. Because I'm so used to being alone. So when when you're alone and you don't have to, like, and incorporate somebody else in your life, it's like, when you actually have to do it, it's hard. But when you start caring for somebody, it eventually gets easier. But in the beginning, you just, like, like, yeah, so hopefully somebody just balance me out is really a thing. And I'm very emotional, so yeah, I'm a car baby. And I am a little crazy, just a little crazy. Yeah, so, and I have, like, a lot of trust issues and stuff. So it's a lot with me, so it's just, yeah, balance is the main thing. The next question is... What could you give a 40-minute presentation on without preparation? It would have to be makeup, of course. Like, that is something that I know how to do. Uh, I'm not perfect at it yet, but I I would think I'm really good at it. Like, I can teach the basics. Like, if somebody don't know how to do makeup, like, I can teach them, like, the basic stuff or, like, a basic face, you know, something simple to get them started. So, I could definitely do a 40-minute presentation on that. Next question is, what are some small things that can make your day better? First of all, it's being around positive people. Now, I know the world is filled with negative people and people that's just bitter and stuff, but I, if I can be around positive, if I can be around positive people, positive uh, coworkers, and um, just fully energized, I would like that. So the next question is my relationship status. Uh, right now it's it's complicated. I don't I don't right now I just don't know. I don't know. The next question is the ideal way for the weekend. <coughs> so Friday would be going out probably like to a movie or something because it's end of my work week. So something chill, but I still would want to go out. Saturday is a party. I would definitely want to party. Mm -hmm. And Sunday will be recovery. Like, just chilling, relaxing, and cleaning up, and getting myself prepared for the next week. I usually late or early. I am honestly, typically late. I learn, like, the times, um, the latest times I can leave out for everything. So, that's what I've usually do but I'm getting better at it I think well I'm trying I'm trying it's hard but I'm trying next question is what question do I want to ask God that he could give me an answer to is all that I'm doing right now worth it I just really don't know because you know I get confused a lot I changed my major like a billion times so I just want to know like is everything I'm doing is it working is it worth it like, am I going in the right direction? Like, I'm very indecisive, so my mind changes a lot. So I just, I just, that's really what I want to know. Do you talk to yourself? Absolutely. I talk to myself all the time. Like, yeah, I be by myself a lot. So I definitely talk to myself. It's not even, like, I talk to myself about, like, what I have to do later or things like that. So, yeah. The most annoying question people ask you. Probably is that my little hair. Why would my real hair? I've been it's just it's just annoying because I've been hearing the question since I was since I can remember. Period. It's just yeah. What is your favorite scent? My favorite scent is Victoria's Secret Love Spell. 
or Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction or the whole Marc Jacobs Daisy Collection. What is your favorite summer activity at working? Because I don't like to work that much during the fall because I am a school and I'm a full-time student, so I don't like to work that much. So I try to save as much as I can during the summer. My favorite day of the week is Sundays. I like to regroup and prepare myself to start a new week. Who had the biggest impact on my life? It would have to be my big sister, uh, LaBrea. It's just because I watched her. Like, of course, they're my sisters. I watched them grow up. But, I mean, well, you know what I mean. Like, I grew up with them. And everything that she doing in her life is, like, it's amazing. She's just great. She's just great. My other sister's great, too. But it's just, you know, different routes, you know. What makes you feel good? Um, eating, eating right and exercising and having a productive day and having a positive attitude and full of energy makes me feel good. What did you want to be when you grew up? I always wanted to be a criminal defense lawyer. Like, I was preparing myself for that in high school and everything. But I realized that I don't want to go to law school. So, yeah, it's not going to work for me. Because my memory is really not that good, so law school won't work for me. I just wouldn't remember any little to anything that I want. I just probably won't remember. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is pink, pink, pink. What would your perfect day look like? Waking up early enough to eat breakfast, early enough to work out, early enough, of course, to take my shower. I'm going to do that regardless, but early enough. Um, getting dressed, wearing something cute, um, doing a natural face or, yeah, and having some coffee. <laughs> My dream career. So right now, honestly, I am into business and marketing uh, because I'm going to start my business and uh, I, I want to learn more about marketing so if all fails I will be in someone's corporate office but it's not for sale so yeah so I add another question was something you want to try but you haven't done yet uh it's probably spinning like the workout the spinning class like I want to do that so bad but I see it on tv it just looks so fun on little bikes and stuff but you know, I'm just nervous because if I don't want to go no high paced class and not doing it, like keeping up and being tired and, sh and stuff. So I'm just, you know, I'm going to try it one day because my school doesn't have it. But one day I will try it and I will let you guys know. Another question is would I start doing vlogs? Actually, I'm, I'm going to start doing vlogs. Um, I might vlog my birthday weekend. I might. I don't know. I'm not sure about it yet. I might. I don't maybe and uh yeah but i am going to start doing vlog vlogs but the first one might be my birthday it might like might no promises on that and the last question is what is my favorite food my favorite food is pizza i love pizza i eat it every day yeah that's about it and um so that was the last question thank you guys for watching don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions or anything, comment below, and thank you guys for watching.